What's up, everyone, and welcome down to probably more of a normal episode of The Vault. Um, we're going to have a guest in today, which we haven't really had and taped all year long. Um, we f figured, fuck it, man. This pandemic's getting everybody down, and because he's right across town, and one of my very close, he's, I mean, this guy's family to me, and I'm sure if you guys know me, you know who he, I'm talking about because you can't see him right now. <laughs> but uh, I am talking about the one and only Mr. Phil Demo. What's up, brother? What's up, dude? You've got a lot going on, I must say. It's busy. It's busy. It's, bu it's good to be busy in these times. I've never been busier. <laughs> it's, it's weird how that works. You know, what's funny is I have three different, I'm going to sing on your project things to do. Awesome. Well, with you, yeah, and, three. Just, yeah. I've got three now. I got because I had the two before and then I have two others it's to awesome. do. And it's, it's good fun, to be right? busy. It's too bad that we can't have um, concerts for all you people that miss the concerts. Obviously, we can't, we, we, we don't. Uh, we can't do them right now up to them. I know a lot of people are doing live streaming and stuff like that, which is look is kind of cool, playing live shows, streaming, and Wayne and I are actually talking about doing something like that. But um, uh, we figured, why not bring you in and talk about it? It's been about a year. You're a yeah. return guest. It's been, yeah, it's been a year because violence played at um, Home Sunday last year. Yeah, so it's been it's been actually a year. We'll 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 touch on that a little bit but i wanted to talk to you about your new blitz portnoy mangi and devil that's how i can remember it and 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 i i was we were joking about that a little before you guys are kind of like the ropers you're the uh you're yeah, explain uh, that you're you're uh laverne and shirley meaning they're the spinoff of metal allegiance because everybody involved in that are has some way shape or form being a part of metal allegiance and because mike and um and uh, mengi are both the actual main two of the mainstays in it i would have to say you're kind of like a spin-off of yeah. that you know so um how did that come about who and and whose idea was it and who called you and how long ago did this all start uh mengi mark mengi who's uh the main metal allegiance guy yep. and he used to do these things called metal masters him and i've i've always been kind of in touch about doing these all all-star jam things and uh, was that before metal allegiance because you yeah. you have played on many many metal allegiance things so mm -hmm. I, mean, I would you know in the album you know many yep. live shows and so it was it something that you did natural or thing or? yeah 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 it was something that uh that i'm pretty I, um, Ellison says, you know, you know, you're like me, man. You, 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 you don't say no to anything. You know? so I like that like, though. <laughs> that's good. You know what I mean? Which is true about Dave. But so yeah, if I have time, then I'm and I'm up for doing it. And the cover things are so much fun for me. So like like when we did Hail together, it was like, dude, we're out here playing covers in the middle of the Persian Gulf. You know how fucking cool is this? Playing you that know? was great. It was awesome. Was great. Playing Motorhead. And I mean, Van think about it. We're in Metal Warrior in 1983, which was. Phil and I's first band, uh, would you think that at this point we would ever be at this level where we're talking? And especially like the little cover thing we're talking about of the people that we're calling to potentially do it. We're, I mean, basically, we're part of the fraternity, so it's like it's okay to do that, you know? Yeah. And and would you ever think back then at this point where we would have brought this, you know, this level of success to ourselves that, you know, the notoriety is there for both of us to be able to do really cool projects like that and be asked to do cool projects like yeah it's pretty crazy and it's it it's like the roller coaster you know where it's just like i don't care how i got on this i'm just i'm riding it till it's over and then trying to enjoy every minute so you don't you know we both have had early late or late 80s early 90s success and it went away for a minute and we're like yeah. fuck you know i kind of took that for granted and now I that it's happening I think, again i think that that's the whole my whole demeanor anyway especially the third time around now for me, I'm a three-time loser, baby. And so, uh, <laughs> loser, baby. And so, uh, I'm I, Jerome Willie. I'm Jerome Willie, <laughs> and I'm and I ain't going to the joint <laughs> anyway. I would I would never thought that you know, if, if the opportunity would have come, and I always said you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna approach it much differently, and I really have this time out. I enjoy it fully this time. I don't take any piece of it for granted. The finances, the travel, the any of it, I, I actually have re loved with it I, and i'm sure you feel the same way you know you've actually had a new lease on life and talk about that i mean that's that's like god playing that, music now i feel that like like you said three times around and i feel this is my third you know i did the violence thing and and quit for a bit the machine head brought me back and gave me this you know 
career. And uh, now that I've left that and moving into this third phase where it's, you know, it's, it's my, my trip. I'm making the decisions and um, to be 53 years old and having this whole new world open up, it's really fucking cool to be able to go, Hey, is that let's, you know, right. Let's, and have, uh, have it be legitimate and have, have that credibility to, to have it just not be here. Hey, exactly. hey dude, here's my demo, you know, right, exactly. uh, to have it be, you know, credible and look what you're, what you're doing with the show here is fucking so cool, dude. And thanks. We we're just talking about, you know, the slashing and all the movie shit that you're doing and it's, yeah, the, the, you you're know. doing shit that you love to yeah, do. Right. Well, like creature feature uh, themes. Yes. Oh, I got to do that. I mean, we watched creature features as kids. I loved yeah. it. You know what I mean? And now. I feel like I'm a part of the show, and so it's like awesome. to me, it's it's like these things that you wished for when you were a child, like the dreams that you have. I think some of us, uh, you know, I, I've fulfilled that. I, I really have. I can't say that there's much more that I could do that I pretty, pretty much haven't done. I mean, I played with pretty much everybody. I wanted to play with all my heroes, you know. I still get to play with them. I'm friends with a lot yeah. of them. You're jamming you know, with a bunch of we these. We play with great, you know. Them. The band that I played in is, you know, people love the band worldwide that I play in and still love after 35 years. So, I mean, I'm very fortunate, and I don't take any of you guys for granted. That's why I think when you, know, you see me on the road, I'm very approachable or on the street or whatever. And 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 and, and you know, it's very genuine and very real. So, a lot for that too, you know. The the brief thing that we did overseas was like, I hadn't been on the road with you, you know, and, and all our time we hadn't, we did like one offs or whatever. Right, and, sure. And, but it was, it was nice for me to be able to see you in that setting, uh, being, cause I've been, you know, around people that are fucking horrible to fans, you know, but people in bands that are just, I, I can't stand they're fucking that so shitty to fans. I really hate and that. so it was cool to see you in that sitting. And I, and I didn't thought I didn't think a lot of that, before going into it, but it was it was one of those things that's going, seeing you, people coming up to you in hotels and eating and stuff like that. You were so cool. One of the best people that I've seen around the fans and inviting and like engaging and talking to them and, you know, not acting like you care because it looked like you genuinely cared about yeah. stuff that you're talking to them. I so do. I'm going to give you Thanks. serious high fives for, Thanks. you know, but for the way that you interact with your fans. Thanks. And I, I, I think that goes with my character and your character as well. We were not brought up like that here in this town of Dublin where we do the where we do the vault at and uh, I, I think that that speaks a lot of volumes because when we talk about heavy metal we talk about our fans and there's so much a part of what the music is it's there's no real big separation I, I think I think that if without them we wouldn't exist and they need us because this is their release and I think because we worked there's, there's no there's no there's no television play. Nobody plays us on the radio other than our satellite channels that are dedicated to us, or the um, or the websites, or the fanzines, or whatever the, the 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 podcasts that are dedicated to heavy metal. Outside of that, nobody pays uh, our our genre of music any attention, really. You know what I mean? I, and I think the fact that I. I've been doing construction for, you know, 35 years. You, but you were at Union. I got my 20-year pin yeah, yeah. right before, actually. Yeah. I got right back in. So, I mean, but I think that, that you and I can identify on that level. We're like, I, I was working in Machine Head f up until not too far before the end, you know. Yeah. It wasn't until my Jackson endorsement kind of kicked into it. I was able to not have to work. Yeah. So, it's we identify with that working class and being from this town that's pretty close-knit that, we identify. We we don't separate ourselves from like. Well, I'm on this dad, and this is the way I need to be. You know, no, we're, we're separate. Don't. We're I'll one of them. We'll go out. Exactly. We'll we'll watch a show from front of house. Yes. Well, <laughs> no, exactly. You know, we'll watch amongst everybody else. I'll watch my own concert. Like um, I was in Norway a couple of years ago, and it was um, it went Exodus, Alice in Chains, Ozzy, and I go, you know what? Awesome. I want to watch Ozzy from the front. Okay. So I'm standing in the crowd, and people are coming up to me, going. Oh my God! What are you? What are you doing here? I'm, all, I'm watching the concert just like you. I'm an Aussie fan. I don't want to stand on the stage like some poser and not right. be able to hear. You don't it. see the see show. The show. So exactly. we we uh, we back in 2007. We got the call. We're at the end of a festival run, and we got the call to open for Metallica at Wembley Stadium because uh, Bullet for My Valentine dropped off. So we we get we we do the show. It's fucking awesome, and uh, it's it was one of those surreal moments where you're like you're watching from the Queen's box, and we're out front, and Jimmy Page is like walking past you because he's watching there. And I said fuck this, I'm getting down there, and we went down, and and there's film of me on YouTube, just air guitaring and rocking out with this group. People That's came great. around and just were fucking singing the words, and, and they're blowing. 
alone because yeah, she's it was so much fun. But so it's cool. It, yeah, and but it was it, cool it, to yeah, connect yeah. on that part. And, yeah, because and be a fan because sure. we were all fans and we're still fans. Absolutely, we're still fans. So I have you in here because I do want to talk about your new project. Talk about uh, you said Mangy started it off, but I, obviously he probably made a call to Portnoy and then. It went to you. Or yeah. So actually, actually, Mingy, Mingy was uh, sitting around drinking a beer at his house, and his uh, Saturday Night Special by Skinner comes on, and so his eight-year-old, I believe he's eight years, he said, "Hey, Dad, you should cover this. You know, you guys should cover this and metal it up and stuff like that." So Mingy's thinking, not a Metal Allegiance thing, but maybe I could, you know, Blitz is his boy, so he calls up Blitz. Hey, what do you think about maybe doing some covers and blah blah blah? And then they, I think, between the two of them, said, "Yeah, but just." American bands, you know, and then okay, well, just seventies American bands. That's and so, great. And so they called up Portnoy, you know, Mark's uh, partner in crime, and uh, they needed a guitar player. And I, I think what I think happened was that you know they called Alex, and Alex was oh probably can't do it. Called Andreas and Alex. So I think I'm three on the list. Do you think? But what? Because I'm just I think fun. Maybe I'm Alex just... would be too much. They would have had to call it Metal Allegiance if it if it wasn't because it yeah would maybe be, it would have been three of the four. Core. That's just me fucking around. So, so I, 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 Mingy, I Mingy says good. that I was the first choice, and I I am flattered in in if that's the uh, case. No, because you're playing it. You know what I mean. You're you can have. We live that exactly. We and live that's that. why we are what we are is because those were the bands. Everything that you played on it and 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 everything. Drinking that our first beers to this is what we listened. There was the first joints I mean, to. I'm 16 in 1980, <laughs> so my years from being eight and nine years old listening to music is all 70s, right. you know, and it's all 70s hard rock. Right. Ted Nugent, That's you know a, what I mean? There. You know, it's it, exactly so. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like if you're not, he played stadiums when I was a kid. Right. You know what Aero I mean? Smith. Come on, Aerosmith. Yeah. You know what I mean? They played stadiums when I was a kid. You know, so ACDC, you know, Robin Trower, yeah. you know, Black Sabbath, of course, Led Zeppelin. But there was no real metal till the new age of British. We paid attention to that right, until right, it's right. that seventy nine, eighty, eighty one kind of go weird like that. So talk about the song selection and how that went because I I believe every one of you guys chose a certain yeah so we all we all we wanted 10 songs everybody got to pick two and uh and you couldn't argue you couldn't say ah fuck that i don't want to do that it was just like if you somebody picked a song you were learning that song so uh mangy picked uh zz top bear drinkers and hellraisers Uh and leonard skinner saturday night uh, Saturday night special uh blitz picked uh evil by cactus and, yeah, I, I actually listened to it. And Mountain. Cactus's version. Mountain, yes. And because that ended up being, that's a whole other story. And Mountain, uh, Never in My Life. Uh-huh. So uh, I had that's never West, I had huh? never heard either of those songs, but I'd never even heard of Cactus before. Uh-huh. And uh, Portnoy picked Wang Dang, Sweet Poon Tang, Ted Nugent. Thanks, Portnoy. Yeah, yeah my totally. Team. Ted's one of my, I mean, and, I roar Ted every, I'm pro Ted for president, dude. I love Ted. <laughs> And uh, Toys in the Attic, Aerosmith. So that, right. that ended up being the, the first single and being the video that we did. And I picked uh, DOA, Van Halen. And uh, the, the deepest cut, the deepest cut on the record, uh, Tattoo Vampire by Blue Oyster Cult. It is deep. Yeah. It's real deep. It's on the Agents of Fortune yeah, record. Yeah. It was uh, a song that I wanted to cover with violence in the early 90s. And I just always felt it had this potential to be covered and be heavy. And then we had two group choices that we all kind of threw in the hat and voted on, and we did Walk Away by the James Gang. Uh, we actually did, there was a Van Halen cover of that. So back in their Pasadena party days, there was a, they covered Walk Away, and it's and it's up-tempo and so kind of more. Kind so of we like did it the Van Halen, we did I it cover see. over cover, and then we did. Where, nobody knows. Yeah, right. We did a uh, we're, we're an American band by Fog right. or by Grand uh, Funk. Uh, Grand Funk, yeah, right. So, and we had to do that, you know, American, yeah. American only seventies. So it was hard, kind of Which coming. Which is probably up no disrespect to any of our lovely countries around the world. It's just you guys are. We wanted American to do that. Yeah, we wanted to kind of limit cool. to that, and and there might be future records by us covering other countries. Now, record label picked you up. Uh, Napalm Records. Napalm yeah, Records, yeah. killing it, doing great. Oh, so it's out. Yeah, no, I mean, they're doing great they are, press, yeah, no, press wise and all kinds. They're doing colored vinyl and, you know, doing And awesome, we're not releasing because awesome. of the pandemic? No, it comes out June 12th. Uh, Amazon yeah. have it? it will they be, will. Yeah, they everywhere. Will. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. So it's fun. It's just a, you know, it's, it's, it's a party record. You know, we did, uh, I took a red eye out to 
Philly and drove to Portnoy's house. Your favorite place. Yeah. How cool and was he that? Lives, he lives in the middle of nowhere. So um, so I he I got there in the morning, hadn't slept, and he doesn't get up until noon or one. Oh. And so I was able to nap for a little bit. So we go over to Portnoy's house. Uh, it's got an awesome, awesome place. Huge uh, downstairs uh, cool home theater and uh, but he's got a recording studio down there with all his kits and so we just we set up in there we hadn't rehearsed so we uh, we run through him a couple times and end up using a couple of his first takes damn one you know 10 hours 10 songs done but have a couple of beers by his pool next day i'm flying home isn't that how it should be for, for yes. a project like that yeah. you're, you're, you're all seasoned musicians yeah. you shouldn't have to be you know, like, uh, but you know, we could probably get, man, that's what it's all about. Yep. It's going in there. Especially we had a couple ideas like where, uh, like tattoo vampire, Mike wanted to put, uh, like a Ramones beat in the beginning uh -huh. and, uh, speed it up a little bit. And we vibed. It was, he was on the other side of the glass, but I was up there rocking with him. I wanted to get good takes with him and have that energy exchange and have, get the feeling that you're jamming, not like you're in a fucking box and, and then a glass case of emotion. You know, I wanted uh -huh. to fucking feel right. that, feel what we were fucking doing. So I came home and uh, tracked guitars with Juan uh, or Tiago over at Trident, and he was it was awesome, dude. You know, because I hadn't I hadn't tracked rhythms in twelve years, you know. And, yeah, and right. My machine had days I didn't track rhythms, uh -huh. and uh, so it was I'm the only guitar player on this, so it was you know kind of a nervous anxiousness anxiousness get going into it, but it was it was fucking great man it was a good laid the rhythms down in a day 10 tracks in a day came back and did the leads in a day and it's some of my fucking best playing man it just because it was loose because it was loose and just yeah. fucking you know having fun fun it having it fun, make, it, fun make all dude. the difference that some of my I mean, best songs like, are on that am i doing am i playing it right am i standing in the right place i don't want to do that but you know <laughs> and we won't but it's it was it was that liberating feeling of just this is we're playing these tunes that you grew up in and with with people that you fucking ad, admire and and playing with legends of fucking music and you right. know and it's and they want you to jam with them and you know and it was it was a really it was a good transition point for me it was real uh low esteem coming out of the the other thing and this really built it up a lot for me i think um also uh your reception back with your band, when which we'll get into in a minute, was also had to do with um, um, you being able to go. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. right. I am cool. <laughs> I am. People do like me. I am okay. And because I've seen that, and everybody's very excited for uh, for you know for violence and 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 everything that you do. So. Um, we get the record when BPMD. BPMD, June twelfth on and Napalm. it's just BPMD. BPMD, American made. Amer American made. June American 12th. made. Yes. So, is Mangy back there chomping at the bit right now? You know he is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's excited. He's, he's sure done. He is. You know he works hard, man. And he's into he does. something, and he he does, and he thinks he about shit. He works it, man. Yeah. I, I, Mark, I'll tell you what. He's I've a been, character. That whole man, we have to be to do yeah. this business. Metal Allegiance roles i mean is this strong because of him he's kept it yeah. he's the one who really that's fun it and boasts the that's button. a fun to take and part it's in fun and everybody and... in the business has you know really you know looks forward to can i look forward when i when i get asked to do it every once in a while and i go down and take care of it yeah, it's and fun. it's fun it's fun because i love everybody else i'm still a big fan you know, yeah, you get to hang get to out with your with playing with other I people. Get to sit there and you get to see John other people. Bush, how he's my favorite singer <laughs> in the world, and I just tell him, "You're, I don't care. Everybody in the room's good, but he's my favorite." I was busting. You know I, mean? I love him because, and, and I and I and again, then that goes back to people that I admire. I get to do stuff right along with, right. and that and that um, and and that's a lot of fun. So, cool. Looking forward to that. So now, of course. You can tell us what's up with violence. How you? How, what have you guys been doing? Like last last week on, we were on a last boat week. together. The on this last episode, we were on a boat together, and a couple of things have changed since then. But uh, a couple uh, of things have changed. A couple of things have changed. Yes. And so um, we and, can talk about the boat a little bit if you want. Like, we can talk about the boat. <laughs> what, was, what did you think? I mean, your first cruise like that. Uh, you know, I'm going to let you do, and I don't know if Wayne can edit this in, but since you were there with me when it all began. Uh, you have the picture of me, right? 
Yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah. I, can, I haven't posted well, it up anywhere. Well, but we're I will let you right now. He can he can show that. Right. So you, you so see? I'll I'll tell you what it, we can tell the story. Okay, and then we'll go to the picture. Okay, so first night, yes, first night we play we put the seventy thousand tons of metal to cruise. It's my it's my first cruise. You've done them before. Yeah, and and so we play. We're the first band to play. So we play, and it was cool. It was yeah. it was pretty rad, and then. First night, I'm kind of walking around, and you know, everybody's kind of going to bed, and it's just like, "Fuck, am I going to rage tonight?" Or if I, I don't have to On play the tomorrow? First night? That was the first night, wasn't it? Well, the, the night with the, the yeah, the that's what I'm talking night. about. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. This is an exclusive. I'm this, giving this the fucking toxic. The toxic. Where, where else is it fitting? It's so fitting to, to expose perfect. it here. So it's a great place. Good so story. So violence plays. Uh, we eat, and I'm walking around. People are going to bed because they're they're you know, tired or whatever. And, and so I'm like looking kind of cruising around, not seeing anybody I know I'm about to head up. I said, if I have last sweep, if I don't see anybody I know to drink with, then I'm just going to go, go to sleep. And so I'm walking up to the elevator and I look to my left and there's that. And Lee, <laughs> I'm like, Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're going to the casino. We're going to, I said, all right, I'm in with you guys. Ooh. We go to the Ooh. casino <laughs> That was awesome. Fucking, that was a great And it was, it was having a couple drinks at first, and they're at fucking first. so fucking expensive. And I'm just going, fuck, there's hardly any booze in this thing. You know, I'm just going to do shots now. <laughs> and so I get Lee. I get him. Who's we start doing. We start doing. I, and I remember you telling me that, that you're never going to drink. And I never, I, it wasn't my, my intention to try to drink Lee Altus on the table. But we start doing fireball shots. And it's and more people are getting involved and pictures are being taken and we're hanging out with uh, uh, toxic drummer guy. He's uh, Jim. Tom, yeah, Jim. hanging out with Jim and the toxic. He's an heathen now too as well. Yeah. He did the heathen right, 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 right. right. Mm -hmm. So it, meeting cool people and isn't it fun? And it, it starts so fun. when you start drinking more and more people. It's getting later and it's getting later and then all I remember is. I haven't used the bathroom and I'm trying to make it back and I'm doing, remember altered states when the guy's going down the, the hallway bouncing from the side to side and I'm going whole in my head. I'm going, fuck, you're really fucked up. I don't know if you're going to make it back to the room. And so I remember falling and I had this, I still might have the scar from it, this huge rug burn for me falling. And then I wake up in the room and Sean's next to me and, and not next to me, but he's in the room with me and I'm all fuck. I don't even remember making it into the door, you know? And I said, cause we had a signing and this is at like one o'clock. I didn't get I've it. I've seen until. you before. This yeah. <laughs> so but I'll I wake up. He's all, after I'm a, you're done. And I'm all, I don't, I don't know how, he's, well, I guess you got in. Okay. And then, so I'm all, all right, fuck it. We got this signing still drunk, still fucking and drunk. I saw you on your way there. Still drunk. You so, smelled so bad. <laughs> so I, I still have my, I, all right. I got my, credit cards are here my phone's here i got my wallet everything's good so we get to the signing i'm high-fiving you guys hey how's it going bro? and jim's go oh you and i'm starting to see people out man oh you're still alive you didn't fall overboard and you know you tackled me up against them you know you were having oh such a good time That's and you, didn't, you jumped over the bar last night and all these stories are coming from people that i can't believe you're still alive you know and jim shows me a picture of, and Can we gonna, get a copy of that? We'll because a, we're going to put that picture. Yeah, up. I'll, I'll send a picture. I'll send a picture. Oh to. my god! And so there's a picture of me, and you'll see the picture. So in the picture, it's it's me with my zipper down. Uh, you made it to the door. My credit card is laying next to me because what I incredible. So what I did. You thought that was your sign in state card. I thought that was my key to get in the door. <laughs> And so the door isn't opening because I'm using my credit card and I fucking, I guess I just lost it and just passed That's out right there the great with a credit card. And so Jim took a picture of that and I don't know. How Comment I got in. on the shot people, please. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first time I'm putting, posting this. I've shown other people, but this, I figured this is the Thanks. apt cool. place to fucking people love it. They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll so be in. people on the cruise saw it. So here you go. A, a toxic vault exclusive. Wow. There's the shot. And Jim, Jim, you know, he's, uh, you know, and his room was right next to him all. Bro, could you put my credit card in, at least in my pocket or something? Or could you at least can? try to at least open your, your room with you? No. Find your sign in state card no, and no, get no. you in? Okay, so now my eyes, this is a Pulp Fiction. Now it's coming through no. my head. So me and Lee, I see Lee, and I'm the same way. I'm about ready to go up. He goes, what are you doing? I go, what are you doing? He goes, come on, let's go to the, uh, to the bar. And... I've started a new thing. I go out and have drinks now when we go on the road. I mean, most of you people know that I don't drink. I'm now back at home. I won't touch it. But 
When I'm out with Exodus, I'm enjoying drinks. When I was on a cruise ship, what else did I got to do? So we drank in Bahrain. Right? Uh, again, Dubai. Uh, yeah, we did. That's right. See, so but I, I put this thing. I'm gonna party a little bit. So we go to the bar. So I start drinking shots with you guys like i said now again i haven't drank like that you ghosted you were gone and this is why <laughs> i couldn't find a fucking bathroom and i had to piss so bad so it's like probably this is at this point it's 2 30 okay and it's for you guys this is the evening just started but in my eyes it was 2 30 and, and so i was no big deal I couldn't find somewhere to piss. So the bar was right by the elevator by my room. And I figured, fuck it, I'll just go up into my room. So I go up in my room and I go in there and I find myself at about eight o'clock in the morning laying on my bed with my hand down, fucking drink spilled on the bed. <laughs> my hands got big piss stain. Oh, so I didn't make it. No, no, no. <laughs> That's if you look at the picture, I didn't, I made it somewhere. So, uh, so that, that happened. So then I'm cool and like I didn't, I didn't get fucking that drunk where I thought that I was going to be like, you know, like, like I couldn't function. So, you know me, I get up early. So it's probably about 839. I got up and I walked through the breakfast thing and I, I kind of, uh, you know, hung around there. And then I walked through the main promenade, which is pretty empty at that time. And I see somebody goes, Hey, Zab, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? He goes, I just saw Lee about 45 minutes ago. And I go, what? I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like wandering through the hallway. I'm all, Oh my. And so I'm thinking, well, he didn't sleep and wake up and walk through. He's been up the whole time. And we actually didn't see Mr. Altus. He missed the signing. The whole day. At least I made the signing, Lee. The whole rest of the the whole day, the whole rest of the night. We didn't see him till um Shanker later that night. Remember it, Michael. <laughs> no, I the, didn't go to Shanker that night. The first night you didn't go? No. Oh, that's right. You I was didn't sleep. Because I, I watched both of Michael's sets, yeah. which were amazing. But uh, I saw Lee there, and I was like, uh, I first thing I walked up to him, I looked at him in his eyes, I said, too much, too soon. Slap shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> too much, too soon. He's like, are you having a drink? He's like, looked at me. He's got a Coca-Cola in his hand. I don't even think, I don't remember. if he It's drank. his birthday today. Yeah, I know, yeah. I, I'm all, hey, man. Fireball, be, fireball shots this are will on be me. tomorrow this will be we'll actually film we'll, oh gotcha we'll show this tomorrow but right. today is his actual birthday we all sent him we have his or have we all do that in between us we all know each other's birthday it's kind of bam thing we do. awesome we do on the birthday so um so now and and i said if you people have never done seventy thousand tons go check it out it's a lot of fun it's awesome it's a place where you can like get close to the your art i mean you're drinking in the bar you will you could potentially be grabbing their credit card to try to put it in the door. Probably did. And yeah, there were plenty of stories the next day. Like, oh, dude, you last night, you fucking, you were trying to, who was it? It was, uh, somebody saw me. Oh, it was uh, this dude from Full Terror Assault. It's this guy, Phil, that I knew, but he's all, bro, you last night, I came up to you and, and you were crying. You were like, oh, just, I had tears in my eyes trying to find a bathroom. Hot. He said you were crying. I just need to find a bathroom. I told you. <laughs> what do you think I ended up in my room peeing my own pants? I couldn't find one. We're in the bar. And I mean, I got to go and dig. I'm 56 fucking years old. First when night. I got to go. I go you first know night. I mean? First night. That's Ruined okay. it. It started Ruined off. It. It's okay. Yeah, it was all right. It was fun, though. So let's yeah. get into a, let's get into a couple changes happened. After that, after that, I went to Europe with uh, Testament and Death Angel. And you... What That's your cue. That's your cue. And what you, you. What? For violence. What did we do? You lost a member and hired a member? Is uh, right now, yeah. Uh, Bobby Gustafson is playing guitar for violence. He's as interim or? He is. Um, yeah, he's, he's going to play shows with us. Um, when that gets back to. Yeah, we're, we've signed a deal with Metal Blade to do a five song EP. Good. So um, I'm probably me and Sean are probably going to write the material. Uh, as far as recording, probably do some leads. Might do some rhythm stuff. We don't know. We're still in the. I haven't even gotten to first base with them yet. So we, you know, there's not. Has a he big, played with you yet? Have you guys? Yeah, done anything? they were out here last week. No, so no live shows. No live shows. But he's he came up and we've rehearsed. Uh, we initially flew him out in I want to say like February or March. We were going to do some shows, and then. This went down, and then we we got bored last week, and we had we had Bobby out to uh, to jam with us. 
So full band jams? Yep. Good, good. Because, yeah. I mean, everybody's very excited about you guys actually reforming mm-hmm. or reformed. And, I mean, everybody was looking forward to, obviously, the shows that were the year mark. And, I mean, they, that's going to be a... If you could turn that into a yearly thing like the Death Angel does at Christmas, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I mean, that yeah. people were looking so much forward to those shows. This is no pit. It's very raw. Yeah, it's yeah. in a place where you could just bounce off the fucking walls. And it's real, man. Grace. It's real. So yeah. it's, it's a good thing. And to hear your writing music, too, is probably going to be good news to the fans. Because I think it could play the old stuff for a while, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's I, I really think you, you really, know. Yeah, you, you got to dig your heels in and mm? and do new stuff. You know, even though if they stand to the crowd and go, play Bond in my blood, you still have to, you know, give them new stuff. And yeah, new but we weren't the band that had like the sing-along hits. Yeah. You know, so there's there's parts that but you... But I'm sorry, there's parts. Come on. There's Um, You and Sean write most of the stuff. I mean, but Perry's always been a big part of it as well. Are you guys going to work pretty much as the three of you together? Have you, has anybody got together yet? Yeah. Yeah. We've got three, we've got two songs done. We've got uh, ideas for two more. And uh, yeah, Perry's there for the writing. I mean, I come up with the riffs. Right. Uh, Because it started, I mean, Gary and Tom, it's the same way. Drums, drums, guitars, that's got to come out like that. And, but Perry's there while we're structuring stuff. And, um, I mean, you know Perry. <laughs> so he's he took some time off from playing, and he's now getting to a point to where, uh, especially last week in practice, to where now he's he's going off a of muscle memory again, and he's not having to think about three and five and these go four. And now yeah. he's now he's just being you know you, is that animal? Yeah, that's so of course that's him. Being now right he's being now. he's able to be animal now, and he doesn't. He's better when he doesn't have to think about stuff. So he's able to just kind of. I think that goes with anybody musically. If if it's bedded in your head, Mm -hmm. it's second nature. I feel the same way if I like what we were talking about when we prepared for the hail thing. I don't use a teleprompter. I'm going to memorize 20 songs that a lot of them I didn't never knew all the way through. You know, I mean, even 22 Acacia Avenue, which I've listened to a million times, did not know every single word the way it was supposed to go. So. I mean, to me, I want to live it. And when I did it, it felt natural. So I forgot I we did that. That was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> and I, you know what? People love that one. When we did that, yes. you don't hear that song. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, but I, I just think songs like that or, or the approach like that is much more, uh, to me, I, I have to feel, even with Exodus, if I'm doing. Being you know, prepared. They, the, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, like a Rob song. And they'll say, yo, we want you to do a song for, off of this album, which was, you know, from Duke's era. Right. I, you know, I listen to it a thousand times till I know exactly what's going on there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I want it to sound just as good. And, and that's paying respect to the way it was done. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. I'm like, well, I'm going to do it my way. I, I want it to be, you know, I want the continuity to stay the yeah. same. So when is there an actual timeline? Well, because of this pandemic shit that shut everything off. But was there a timeline to, Not to really. release the, to the EP? Not really. We've been talking with, uh, the people of Metal Blade and just super, you know, super Brian, many years, yeah. many, many years. Yeah. And, uh, just super lax. And when they're ready, they're ready. It's, you know, we're, um, this has given us more time. Um, but still, you know, I, it's gotta be fucking killer. You know, there's no, that we, we, I had a riff that, you know, the dudes were kind of digging them all. Just fuck. I don't, I don't got a boner with this one though, man. I want, I want a right. 10 foot boner with everything that we're doing now. It's sure. gotta be, it's gotta be better. It's gotta be fucking kick ass and, and parts of it wasn't. So this is my, uh, well, you got you time know. to throw it away. You yeah. Know I mean, it's a, you know, it grabs you at first and then yeah, not so much. Uh, maybe I don't want to put it. I don't want to put out some crap. Well, right. Exactly. You'll know when it's, yeah. You'll know when, when they're hard. Play. They're hard to play. They're hard to. They they're are. hard to. to hard I've to sing. I've set the bar kind of high, high in the riffs and wanting them to be wanting them to be difficult and working with Perry. He fucking. I bet he goes home cursing me at night just because it's just like, you know, they're it's they're hard. They're fucking hard songs. The structures. There's hard parts and a lot to them. So it's you know, but they're going to be fucking kick ass. It's violence. It better be done. violence. Yeah. There was a. They're not easy. Was, uh, they're, they're, no, I mean ask any singer that had to sing Sean shit on the <laughs> on on uh, Killian on command. I'm one of them. I was like. I couldn't wait till that fucking night was over with because those songs haunted me. I, and they were just, you know, because 
his vocal patterns are not four four eight eight. You right, know, that's right, it's right. very very forward backwards speed up here slow down here. Yeah. And and I wanted to capture that. You did. In the you song. did great. And, I, and so to do that, I had to digest those. I mean, literally digest those songs. It was a weird night. It was weird because it started and you guys did eternal nightmare first yeah part. first it was so i came in and watched it and the first chords rang out and it was like fucking goosebumps and like sure. oh my god you know i'm watching violence, <laughs> violence and the place is packed and with two thousand people, people in there feeling it and everybody sounded great and you fucking killed eternal nightmare it was so good and it was, Thank you, it was it was a not just without lots really, of really hours of work for that little four minutes there. That was a weird hours night. watching. It was, watching I bet that it would be. I, I would it, think it would be seeing him and seeing how he was at that point. And you know, we did the golf tournament a few months before, and he looked so fucking gaunt and frail, and the shell of this just vivacious character that he used to be. You know, and that and, he's actually worked back to kind of. He is. He's. He's every bit of that fucking that we had him on the show pistol he, that he was. Man. That's what he had to be. Though. He's got this new lease on life, and he's a driven dude. He's that's just good. like, you know, we got him. Our dudes, you could do this. You know, why not? So, when you get your I, third, second, or third chance, yeah. and it's coming back at you, yeah. like we talked about that before. So I think that that's really cool. What else you got going on? Um, I'm doing these uh, these collaborations, these quarantine collaboration jams, and uh, it started off with uh, doing this Alice in Chains song with my wife. We had always wanted to do it with our our cover band, the Merkins, and and uh, so we have this. We've got the studio at home that I've got a Pro Tools rig there, and I never recorded vocals before. So uh, I said, let me let me see if you do you want to try to sing. Let's try to do it. And so I I, uh, I recorded the acoustic and the twelve string, and I sent it out to McLean, who did some drum tracks and i flew him in and and set up the mic and she sang it and i don't know if you heard it, i sent you the video yeah, yeah it's great and she, those are first takes for her man that's cool at the harmonies and uh again when you love something and you listen to it you know sometimes you don't need to do 10 takes of it you right know? right it sounds really natural. so she killed it and so i reached out to my buddy who plays in this band called shine down one of the biggest rock bands in the world right now sure. and he played eric and he played bass on it and you know, and so it just gave me this idea of like, fuck, you know, I know enough people that, you know, would want to maybe do these things. And I hit up McLean. I said, dude, I want to do Bad Reputation, you know. And and so I reached out to uh, Richie Faulkner, plays in Judas Priest. Yeah. And he's all, fuck yeah, I'm down. And uh, I said, a bass player. I'm a fucking Mike Inez, most best bass Love Mikey. fucking tone in from Allison Chains. And now Love he's Mikey. super down. And so we were thinking, who are we going to get to sing a Thin Lizzy song? And I'm thinking, Lizzy, a fucking... Lizzie Hale, man. Let's ask her, you know. And I'm friends with her, friends with her. You know, right. I talk to her every once in a while. And so I threw it out. And she's all, dude, I'm super slammed. But I, you know, I want to do this. And we just finished it up and got uh, Paul Figueroa did us a quick mix. He's from Alice in Chains. There's uh -huh. a lot of shit with them. And it's fucking awesome, man. So mm -hmm. I said, everybody film each other doing it. And so we can get, you know, this thing going. And it came out fucking awesome so it's about to be released and so just one song yeah just the one tune just the just the five of us so then i i'm thinking you know johnny tempesta you know i want to do one with him and and i'm thinking dude we should do another arena and wow. he's oh like, well i did i kind of did that with my something with my brother with that he's like what about assault attack uh, ted mckenna's one of his favorite yeah that's one of his boys so we we just finished up assault attack we got joey vera to play bass on oh, it great and we got uh my my wife uh doing keyboards on it because uh, there's a keyboard sure? part on it uh -huh. and uh and so johnny's all well, you know we should try to get Graham Bonnet to sing. You know, I think I know somebody. Oh so, so as we speak, Graham Bonnet is laying down vocals really? to, to, to sing on Assault Attack. Wow. Yeah, so we're, that one's getting wrapped up. I uh, I was listening to Falling Off the Edge of the World by, you know, by Sabbath. Sure. And so... Uh, One of my favorites. I was thinking, who... So this this dude, Dino Jelosic, he's a Croatian singer. He's, he's in a band with uh, George Lynch, but he sings in... I met him when he was doing uh, the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Uh -huh. And I saw him do this cover of uh, a Badlands song, Ray Gillen. I remember Ray fucking Gillen. nailed it, dude. Fucking really? such an amazing... So I wanted... He's, he could do a great Dio. So Stevie D from, from Stevie Testament... D? Got him, and he knew. He's all, dude. We could. I got this person who could do violin for the intro, and so Marta's playing the keys in the intro, and we got this violin, violin, you know, oh, great. And so got that one going on. You and I are gonna do this 
Dead Kennedys thing with yeah, Dave Lombardo. Great. And, That's great. Uh, Still looking for a bass player, aren't we? Looking for a bass player. We got a couple people that were... Got we're, some people in mind. Some mind, so it'll be fun. But uh, doing uh, snorting whiskey, drinking cocaine with Killian and Mark Hernandez and uh, my buddy Danny McNay. So See, just like having fun. Said, let's go back to the projects we're capable of, able to do now. Yeah, because we have the time to do it. Exactly. I've got, the, you know, it's, it's good practice for me in the home studio. Yeah, no. <laughs> home Got to step on your chops. Yes. So uh, it's it's nice being able to learn on the Pro Tools rig and having friends that will kind of help out in this sense. So I'm excited to get nice. those projects out there. And like you have here, I'm working on doing uh, – I want to get this – I want to do like kind of what you're doing here, but but different. Like with musicians, bring musicians in to do. Uh, I do whatever. I call yeah, I mean, I do it all. But I've we're gonna break down. Here. We're gonna break down riffs and maybe do some playthrough That's stuff. Great. And doing some jamming, maybe That's get McLean in on. It. I'm all just spitballing right now, but we're That's gonna call great. it. We're gonna we're gonna call it covered and jammed. You know, like the Waffle House. You know, yeah, uh -huh. smothered and covered. It's gonna be covered and jammed, and we're gonna have these covers on here, and maybe do something at the bar with a jukebox, and have people just come down and you know, hey, fuck it, this Journey song came on. See if you can learn or something right. like that but looking at doing i love what you've done here dude it's Thanks. totally inspiring so it's, it's yeah it's fun and it gives uh all of the fans and you know i think more of the close insight of what we're doing and things that we like when i was a kid i didn't know what robert plant and jimmy page liked you know i didn't know what they were in. Yeah. i would love to see them co-act interact with other musicians on that level do you right. understand yeah, so for sure so i think that you know we were waiting for the hit parader at the 7-eleven exactly you know, and it's just to like come down to just read the bullshit that's in there yeah like, get this way you know and, and i think a lot of us have taken um the medium and 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 and, and done something with it so i think that's kind of cool so yeah, right on for coming into the, the vault once again yeah dude yeah i uh i looked at the looked at the clock i would so I'm building a retaining wall on my back. It's not like we got anything going on these <laughs> and, days. And I borrowed a auger bit from Adam, and he and he hit me back to get it back today. And I'm all like, "Fuck, I got to get out here and dig these holes." And then I've, I'm all shit. I'm supposed to be in Zets in two minutes. I'm all, Dude, I'll be down, and you know, I knew this wouldn't take me a little hour, so it's yeah, good for the fan. good, good press, good, good to touch with everybody during the pandemic to let them know that. We're all still here working. For you sure. Know what I mean? It's been a while since I've been here. Yeah, it's been, been a year since you've been in. It's good to touch bases with... Um, Absolutely, man. And see what's going on. So, you know... We're um, going to rock out on some DKs. We're going to do some DKs, which is killer. So, you guys, obviously, I would love to have more interviews like Phil in. Again, Phil lives in town, so we thought we could do this. I do have many lined up, and, and we'll continue to do more of this stuff. This pandemic kind of flew a wrench in year number two, especially with like having Walter in and the movie reviews and all the other things, the bloody, bloody Bible camps, the things that we do awesome. here and uh, want to keep more of that. But I felt, you know, I need to get a little bit back more to normalcy. So, you know, when we were doing four episodes a week, we're really, really only doing one. We will get back to that eventually because I do want to do that. But, you know, thanks for everybody who stayed and watched all the stuff and all the stuff that we've done up to now. Remember to leave me comments because, you know, we always do episodes and talk about that and subscribe to the channel and share this because that's more people can get a, you know, a view on what we're doing here and find out what's going on. And so uh, once again, man, thanks for coming in. I'll shake your hand. Fuck the pandemic. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you guys at the vault real soon.